I would like to offer a framework for understanding how spiritual practice can be contributive toward healing by looking at first the Zen tradition and fruits of Zen practice. And then in that light, look at what in the Christian tradition is understood as the three stages in the path to God, in the path to mystical union. And I'd like to just outline that. In Zen practice, there are different ways of um, presenting its fruits, but in my tradition, in the Sambo Kyodan lineage, we express it in three ways, or rather as a threefold fruit. The first fruit is what we can call concentration, but not in the ordinary sense of the word, but I like to use a hyphen, and I will explain that a little uh, further. And the second fruit would be the experience of awakening, awakening to one's true self. The third fruit is the embodiment of that experience of awakening in one's daily life. Now, these are not to be taken in succession in chronological order, but can be taken as a spiral set of fruits that one can feel or one can experience as one continues in the path. Now, I will go to um, expound a little more on the details of that, but before doing so, as I was reflecting on these three fruits, somehow it struck me that what I had learned in my own classes in Christian spirituality somehow had some resonances. The path to God or the path to mystical union with God is described as having three basic stages. The first stage of purification or the purgative stage the second stage is called the stage of illumination, where we begin to understand where God is in our lives. We become enlightened as to God's presence in our lives. And the third stage is the stage of union. My first encounter with the Zen tradition was when I was just a few months in language school in Kamakura, Japan, in 1971, when a student invited me to go to a Zen retreat with a discount for students <laughs> for the equivalent of about $10 a whole weekend from Friday evening to Sunday afternoon, uh, free lodging, uh, uh, meals, and uh, Zen teaching, and all, all of that provided. And so, without knowing anything, without having read too much, about Zen either. I just went into that retreat and came out with a lot of aching legs and an aching back <laughs> and an ear that was still ringing from the shouts of the monitors and so forth. But somehow it was an experience that led me to want some more. Not that I'm a masochist wanting all of that pain, <laughs> but that in that rigorous training just to be still and let the mind just be focused on the here and now by being attentive to the breath. Somehow, I felt that there was a, a, a stream of energy, a stream of delight that was coming out and that was beginning to envelop my whole being. 